Where's that morning wood? It's Anita Tetabarthium, a licensed acupuncturist for the past 20 years. And I wanna share with you a simple protocol that you can do at home to help you. One of the indications that you may not have that consistent morning erection is that you may be experiencing lower testosterone levels. I wanna share with you an acupressure protocol coupled with nasal breathing that can help you along the way. But before I do that, let me explain to you what we do at my clinic. When a patient comes into me and they, during the intake process, let me know that they are not having that morning experience, then I absolutely tell them to go get checked out by their medical doctor and just see where their testosterone levels are. And along with their medical doctor's recommendation, along with the acupressure protocols, we've seen some great results that patients report back to us at the clinic. So be sure to, when it has to do with morning erections and also low testosterone, there can be a correlation. So along with this self-care protocol, I ask you to please partner with your medical doctor and let's work side by side to helping you along the way. What I wanna do today is I wanna introduce an acupressure point. It is kidney one. The way that you find this acupressure point is right on the backside of the foot almost as you go to the heel, you have the Achilles tendon and the fascia actually goes into the heel. Right next to it, as you are about to travel to the ankle, you're gonna fall into a ditch. And that ditch right before the foot is kidney one. Kidney one acupressure point has many different indications. From a mirror imaging point of view, this acupressure point not only represents the P spot, but also represents the testicles where testosterone is produced. And so what not a better way to not only bring blood flow to the P spot so you can have that enhanced experience when you rendezvous with your partner, but also bringing blood flow to the testicles so that they can operate more efficiently for you. So what I usually recommend in cases where you are not having that morning erection or an inconsistent morning erection is that I want you to acupress this point while you do nasal breathing. I really like nasal breathing for many different reasons. Nasal breathing can increase blood flow everywhere, including to the genitalia. In addition, nasal breathing can also help you with blood pressure concerns, along with, of course, your recommendations from your medical doctor. Nasal breathing, I've also seen in my practice, can help shape mood and also can help you to sleep better, which in turn can also help you with not only increased nitric oxide to help you with erectile dysfunction, but also help you as you sleep better with testosterone. So what we're going to do for the next minute is that we're going to breathe from our abdomen and or our chest. And we're gonna breathe with our mouth closed with one or two nostrils open. And when you do nasal breathing, just do it for a minute at a time. Doesn't need to be more than that. You can go as slow or as fast as you want and be sure to do it seated down or laying down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna acupress one or both kidney ones on your foot. And when you do it, you want to do it on the side of the big toe, not the lateral side, but the medial side, the side with the big toe. So what I'm gonna do is for the next minute, do nasal breathing. I'm gonna grab kidney one, and I'm just gonna do it in this fashion, but you at home, you're gonna do nasal breathing and you're gonna grab kidney one on the medial aspect of your foot, either foot or both feet while you follow along with me. So follow along with me for the next minute. Here we go.
I feel really good. So consider doing this in the morning and the evening for just a minute. Use this video as a demo to refer to. Most patients see results within a few weeks to a few months alongside with the recommendations of their doctor. So let us know in the comments if this is working for you. And if there's other topics you wanna know more about, comment down below. And lastly, at Empirical Grace, we're just doing amazing things. We're using the monetization money from social media to help fundraise for a free clinic in the Washington DC area, my hometown. So if you want to donate, it's the first link in the link tree. Thanks for watching. Till next time, from your friend and acupuncturist, Anita Tadavarthi. It's Anita Tadavarthi. I want to use my 20 years of clinical experience in giving you the best of self care acupressure protocols to help you along the way. Please comment down below and let us know if these protocols are helping you. Most patients report that they see results within a few weeks to a few months. And if there are topics that you want to know more about, comment down below. Your feedback shapes our content. And also want to give you a special message that we at Empirical Grace are doing just amazing things. We are putting the monetization money from social media towards establishing a free clinic in the Washington, D.C. area. I am from the Washington, D.C. area originally, and this has been my lifelong dream. So just know that as you watch our videos, the monetization money is going towards a great cause. And if you want to donate, you can do so using the first link in the bio. Thank you so much for believing in us, and I wish you all the very best in being a man on the planet. From your friend and acupuncturist, Anita Tadavarthi. We would like to thank Anita's friends and business contacts who donated their time, money, and medical supplies to the Rapely Free Clinic. We're here in my grandfather's um, marriage hall, which has now been converted into our clinic or free hospital. Um, we have been here for four months and we have treated about a thousand patients with over eight or nine thousand patient visits. Most of the patients are farmers and agricultural workers, so a lot of the things that they're dealing with is uh, pain, lots of different types of